Brought to you by Earth. On YouTube, enhance and mobile advertising on Facebook. I've got a couple more uh, over on that side and then I have two of them down here these two rows right here are my uh, the hybrids this is sweet melons all three of these actually all of these going along this way and then back that way is sweet melons these four are um, cantaloupes that I grew last year I used the seeds this year you can see one hanging right there now these are hybrids too those two right there and we've got three maybe four I believe we've got four of those growing and the other day I actually had one that just rolled right off and came down onto the tarp right there so they're coming up pretty good that's kind of sagging there, but I can reinforce it in some way if I have to. I want to test out the wood, see if it's strong. Get some pictures. It is July the 21st, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. Today I wanted to also show an update on a stray uh, melon vine that I've been growing around our pepper tote. It's actually two vines, but I just wanted to show it to you guys and keep you updated. All right, it's July the 21st, 2019 in zone six, Southern Illinois. So I wanted to also mention or show the sweet melon transplants that I've been doing. This one I had, this is the last one I put in. And so far it seems to still be growing. I'm keeping an eye on it. These are doing pretty well. They're coming up. Now this whole area actually got washed out <clears throat> with flooding. And we've had literally just tons of freaking, at first it was extremely uh, cold in March. And then April and May was extreme flooding and it killed all these off. And I had to do transplants. This one is a sweet melon too, and it's doing real well. But so far I'm waiting for this one. I'm waiting for this one to get bigger. This one's finally bringing out a stem. Now when I do these, I gotta tell you that I had to literally train every single one of these. All the way up so when you get into it you're gonna to have to train them not just onto the string but up, the, up this way all the way up to there and make it all going on there and if these tentacles which I call them tentacles if they get stuck on grass or something like that don't worry about breaking them off I've done it plenty of times and it's never hurt the plant but I've literally had to advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.